So I have some good news and I have some bad news. I don't know which one you want first, but I'll go with the bad news first. The bad news is that I ran all the way through Arcator already and realized that my commentary got corrupted about halfway through. So I pretty much lost all of that. I have the full video. Um, there really wasn't... Just a lot of running and fighting, stuff you guys have all seen before. Um, I was actually very lucky that I made a different save. Because as you'll see here, I have a save where I'd already defeated the boss. And normally I just, for this playthrough, I have been um, overwriting just this very first save that I made. And I just made one separate one for uh, loot farming. But luckily... I had made a separate save and then realized that my um, audio had become corrupted and luckily I at least have this save before the dead Kel fight. So that is the bad news. The good news is you don't have to hear me dirt for 20 minutes before I finally get to the final boss. So uh, hopefully that's good news to most of you. <laughs> I don't want to hear a manufactured opinion talk like a dirt for 20 minutes just so I can see the boss fight. And I would, I would probably agree with you. Excuse me. <clears throat> I was nervous, guys. Uh, where am I going, Smurf? Smurfette? Sometimes she'll just yell, watch out at me for no reason. Freaking Smurfs, man, I'm telling you. Smurf and annoying. I actually raged pretty hard in the, uh, the previous video that I had in here. The one where the commentary got uh, corrupted. <laughs> I raged pretty hard in this final boss fight here. Uh, I did beat it my first try, but it was a lot harder than I remember it. Um, I remember it being a lot easier, probably because I wasn't playing on hard then. As we stare down the creepy tree of creepiness. We walk over Gandalf's Bridge, that's what I'm going to call it. You shall not pass! You stupid ass Smurf! Is that a <laughs> Look at her face! Oh my god, that is priceless! <laughs> That's me after eight hours of looking at an Excel spreadsheet all day. <laughs> uh, blue color and everything, I swear to god. <laughs> too much coffee and too much typing. <laughs> Oh, sorry. So you got an echo from my computer there. They give sailors a bad name. Goodbye. This is very strange. Wow, that I'm saying goodbye to you even though you're going to stand right next to me for the rest of the way through the dungeon? Yeah, I know. It doesn't really make any sense. It's very strange. Death to the trees! Come, Quickling. We have been waiting for you. That's creepy. Speak Oops, sorry. Speak with Akara the Exile. Alright. Let's get some lore background exile. here. As we gaze into we the glorious mustachio. The games of men and monsters. So we departed, seeking solace. On this island we took root, and here we first heard the cries of the lost, touched the tears of the broken. Quicklings bear such fragile years. How do you touch a tear if you're you a tree? Guidance. Doesn't make any sense. You need protection. I got Unless they were drinking their tears, which is just really weird. The souls at rest upon <laughs> know nothing. like, you stupid they fuck. <laughs> they know what brings them I wish I could control the camera and dialogue. That is how it was for many passing seasons. <laughs> I love how I raise my eyebrow. Must come to an end. You're no god. No, we are not gods. We are like you. You once and then dying. 
We are but one small sliver in the ring of Kiel's eye. The great circle that studies the path behind and prepares the path ahead. Giggity. <laughs> what does the ring of Kiel's eye? We were the twelve. The sons and daughters of Ilagru. And the branches through which all wisdom whispers. We are the ring. Uh, okay. To plant seeds, to inspire hope, to save. That is why we reached out to the quicklings. But look at what our influence has wrought. Such a monster can only be born from power. Stupid tree. And power will be the tool to unmake him. That is what we want. <laughs> Gogurt's giggling. I love it. Kel. Oh, it'll happen. We know this. For we are the fathers of the fallen one. He came to us broken and we... Dead Kel is toast. And in that creation, our sin was so... He has a pain in the ass, though. You His commando lunge attack literally is from... Literally takes up the whole map. It's absurd. That is what the blessing has always been. Especially using blink. Power. I'm not looking Without forward to it. Dead Kel to the will be. Stop speaking of yourself in the third person, douche. Yeah, come get you some. <laughs> Sounds like he's constipated. So, it has come to this. <laughs> Don't wave your stub at me, jerk. Nothing but my hate. Nothing. Wow. You mad. Time means nothing to the powerful. You say I will die. That doesn't even make any sense. Sadly, we do not choose our fates. That is in the hand of the gods. Stay dead, Kel. Ooh, burn! Ooh, burn! Kara's blessing should have been mine, but he did not deem me worthy. Yeah, because you're ugly. Look at your well, face. No choice, but to you're not worthy of anything. Body. You may be powerful, but not even you could beat back. You're worthy of an ass whooping. It's the only thing you're worthy of. Look at that. Oh, I really should have turned the volume of my TV down. You might hear an echo from my TV, I apologize. I was watching Da Vinci's Demons really loud a few minutes ago. It's my new favorite show. Come get you some! Yeah, you wanna be stunlocked, fool? Huh? You wanna be stunlocked? Yeah, Smurf is smurfing you up over there. They're smurfing you. A whole lot of smurfing all over the place. Oh, wait for this, jackass. Watch what's about to happen. Oh, yeah! Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Dude, where are you? <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh yeah. Here comes the pain! Uh, I'm jamming A, that's alright. Wow. He just got his face crushed. <laughs> uh, I was slamming A there and it wasn't showing up. I have no idea why. Carried by the notorious pirate Dead Kel, this beautiful gleaming saber is crafted from the finest sea steel. Its hilt was made for Ellen of Rothia, but was stolen when Dead Kel sank a secret Orbacon skipper. I like it. Ooh, 15% gold drops. Me likey. Me likey long time. Hey, you. Okay. Sure. 
I remember I found epic loot on this hidden in this hidden chest over here. Gotta make sure to hit it. Oh yeah, epic loot. There it is. Loving it. Loving the loot sauce, McGee. Sprinkle some loot sauce on that. Cause I'm hungry. Woo! Run away! My boggity friends! Don't you see we are one? Run away! <laughs> Look at him! Ah! Ah! <laughs> we are one, my boggity friend! <laughs> I'm sorry! You wouldn't listen to me! I had to put you down! I'm not opening that thing. I got cursed last time. Not making the same mistake twice. We are one, my good friend! <laughs> I feel sad every time I kill one of those cute guys. But it has to be done. For the greater glory, we must sacrifice the tiny urchins. The memories will live on for eternity. And we remember all the little fairies that they chased as we slice their throats. <laughs> Tis the story of the Boggit Urchin. An ancient tale. A tale of love. A tale of sacrifice. Wait for me, woman! I want to drink margaritas on the beach too. You dare go without me? I should feel joyous, satisfied. Vengeance is mine. But I'm not happy. <laughs> she said that with no emotion at all. Vengeance is mine. Sometimes killing can be right. But most of the time it's a terrible idea. Hmm. Mm. You know what? Your mother was a wise woman. Find a new role model. Come, we should go to the village. <laughs> I don't want people touching my shit either. Pisses me off. We are also going to get the Harpy Sword from Sexy Smurf. And, for those of you who don't know anything about this DLC, you're about to get a real treat as to what Miss Smurf is going to say next. <laughs> Probably the best line in the whole game is coming up. Ready yourself. Ready your body. Grab some chips. Maybe a nice adult beverage. A pop. A soda, a cookie, a piece of cake, whatever you need to do to settle in. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. You have me worried, honestly. Why do you act like that? Throwing yourself headlong into dangerous situations. No more. Do you hear me? If you and I are going to woo, and woo is big, <laughs> you're going to be more considerate of my needs. And there are many. <laughs> like sex. <laughs> to show that you're my oh, I love it. You take this. It's a sword. It was my mother's. She was a terrible person. <laughs> By far my favorite character in all of the game. Goodbye, pretty. I love you, Smurf. Did you expect all of that business about the giant tree? I did not. <laughs> that don't go far. I love you, woman. Tari must pay for his crime. Um, right, let's check out the harpy. <sighs> Maybe I'll switch. I kind of want to do might uh, finesse for a little while. Um, what about? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> After getting all of these fantastic weapons, I love this weapon. Originally the figurehead of a pirate sloop, this massive blade is said to able said to be able to hew is said to able. Wow, there's a there's a grammatical mistake there. This massive blade is said to able 
to be able to hew masts in twain. The painted blade is flecked and cracked with age, but bears the image of a howling, monstrous woman known as the Hoppy. So was her mother the Harpy? Is, this, is that what we're is that what we're getting at here? Either way, it's a fantastic weapon. Better suited to a might finesse build, but we'll roll with it for now. Is that a chesty I see? Aw. Um There really isn't Talk to Quay. Alright, let's go do that. What quest am I on? Alright, looks like I just have to talk to him to finish off this quest. Cliffhanger.